In this tutorial you will learn how to make a Japanese sword. So first off we will delete the cube, change to cycle surrender, we shall shift A add plane, we're going to press 1 and then 5 for orthographic view. We're going to rotate that on the x-axis by 90 we're going to scale that on the x-axis about, about there we're going to select everything and we're going to hit this magnet button it's the snap during transform tool Enable that. Then we're going to deselect everything. We're going to right click and then shift right click. Gonna zoom out. And now we're going to extrude that. There's two, three, four, five, six. Eight times. I'm going to extrude that eight times. Now you want to enable proportional lighting on. We're going to press G. I'm going to zoom that out. About there. Uh, we're going to change this to sharp. Press G on the x axis. I'm going to move that about two boxes over to the right and I should do it here yeah. now we're going to press W merge at first which will create this point at the top now we're going to turn off Portion lighting and turn off the snap turn transform tool. We're going to select everything outside the left side by B or by sh uh, shift right click and clicking on each individual one. We're going to extrude that on the x axis a small bit. So the very there will do. Now we're going to move up, move these closer. So we'll uh, oops. Mm, sorry about that. to try and get that close now I'm just going to select everything sorry about that five again yeah sorry now we're going to try and get this point as close as you can I'm going to hit this button here automatically merge you have to zoom really close and you will know. I'm going to just move this down. You might have to do this because you have to zoom in really close in order for this to work. Now, see, it worked because it all went orange. Now I'm going to zoom out again. And just select everything and just move it back up. Back there. Move it back up there. Okay. Now, with everything selected, I'm going to press 3 on the number keypad. I'm going to extrude. And about there will do. 
Now we are going to merge again. Going to W merge first, which will give an exact point. Now you may see this is sort of off. We'll move down to the middle. Now we're going to select each individual W merge at first. No, oops, stop. Control Z is to do, is to redo. Go merge at center, which will create, you know, this sort of point, you know, the edge of the blade. Going to do that to each one at center. Merge at center. one W merge at center. Now now you have this sort of blade. Looks like a blade now. Now as you can see like at different angles the the blade is dark. Now to fix that we're gonna collect everything. I'm gonna go to mesh, I'm gonna go to normals and rectangle outside now it didn't work try again now try the other one now it will work because the whole blade went all bright as you can see at any angle you can see there's no dark shade I suppose on it now I'm going to press tab and I'm going to smooth the blade out going to go back in <coughs> now we are going to we're going to add a modifier now select everything add modifier and we are going to add the subdivision surface. Now, as you can see, you know, you can see the blade sort of messed up, you could say. But to fix that, we are going to select this vertice, these four vertices. We're going to go into mesh, edge, edge crease, and you're going to move the mouse to the right <coughs> and left click, and which will fix fix that problem. Now we're going to do it at the bottom, but you're going to select everything at the bottom. And you're going to do the same uh, edge edge crease and that has fixed that's it that problem now we're going to create I suppose a flare on the blade we're gonna create a loop control or Create two loops right there. We're going to press E to extrude and then we're going to right click straight away so it will sit on top. So it's sit on top. 
Then we're going to scale that on the y axis so it's create like a dip. Now you can change to you know whatever your desired depth that will do. And then we're going to add an edge crease onto that again for select select all these Press A to deselect and tab, and that is your blade more or less done. Now, of course, you can tweak it yourself by you know changing like the top of here. You know, it looks a bit too pointy on my liking. Move that down, I suppose it's there. You know, you can also tweak it, you know, do whatever you want blade and that is the blade done that's part one done and I will see you for part two